Hello, this is How To Bob, and today we're going to refinish a bathtub. As you can see here, this tub is in pretty rough shape and it definitely needs to be refinished. So, what I did is went to the local Home Depot and picked up a Homax Tough Tile Tub and Sink Refinishing Kit for right under $50. The first step in this project is to remove all the old caulking from around the edges of the tub. Once we get all that out of there, we can start cleaning the tub and preparing it for the new finish. When refinishing the tub, the most important thing is the prep. Here we're using triple aught steel wool, and we're going to do this three separate times with a cleaning in between. Now the kit that I purchased comes with steel wool and it comes with a cleaning solution you can also use TSP and TSP can be picked up at the local hardware store usually in the paint department and again we're going to do this three times we're going to rinse it out with the cleaning solution and use the steel wool three times preparation is very important for the final finished product to look good once we've got our three steps done sanding cleaning three times we're gonna go ahead and mask off the areas that we don't want painted now you'll notice that I put a rubber glove over the spout that's just in case any water would drip it won't ruin my finish and I also put masking paper around the walls just to protect it now the next step is very important you want to take your can and shake it for at least one minute it's very important then we're gonna take the can and do a test spray on the masking paper before we actually start painting the tub now this epoxy paint that we're using does require two coats and it does require that we wait 15 minutes between coats but once it's done it will give us a great looking shiny finish. Okay now that we've let our epoxy paint dry for 72 hours we can go ahead and remove the masking and we want to pull that away from the tub and do it very carefully. Okay, now that we have all the masking off of the tub, the last step is to caulk the tub. And for this, I'm going to use a white GE silicone. We simply put it around where the tub wall meets the tub. Put a small bead on there, and what I usually will do is go back with my finger and push it in around the joint just to make sure that I have a good seal around the tub. I'm also going to caulk around the tub spout and again, I take my finger and just smooth it out. It gives it a nice finish. And here's the finished product. Very nice looking finished tub. This is How To Bob. Thanks for watching.